You know what happens when Mark Gurman talks about iOS 17 ahead of its event, right? As yes, uh, we get to hear details about what Cupertino might be baking for its next major OS updates. Samsung just built a display that pretty much fixes everything we've always wanted displays to do, and boy does that Galaxy Watch 6 classic look good in some recent imagery that just got leaked. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if I sound a bit robotic, sorry, that's me after an arsenal of medication just to be able to keep my voice with this cold. This is Pocket Out Daily. Another day, another video with a sort of official news that might sound a bit boring at first until you look into what this could mean for the entire industry. Samsung Display unveiled a new generation of OLED panels that comes with a great set of features. The company claims that the new display technology can check data from users' heart rate, blood pressure, and stress levels using multiple simultaneous finger readings. Usually fingerprint sensors in smartphones are attached under the display as a separate module and only respond to fingerprints on a limited portion of the screen. However, Samsung's new sensor OLED display extends this sensitivity to the entire screen by embedding a light sensing organic photodiode into the panel itself. This new technology is currently being shown at SID Display Week, so no word on when we'll see it, but that being said, remember the rumors of Touch ID returning to the iPhone at some point, or how many times we've seen companies struggle to figure out more than just a small portion? We'll see how this goes. Now let's talk about the other Samsung division we also know about, meaning their mobile division, since uh, we have a new batch of renders showcasing the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, the company's next unpacked event at which we expect to see the next generation of wearables and foldables will happen sometime in July, but uh, for now we have new images that give us an idea of on how the new watch will look. It will have a minimalistic and premium design with a metal body and two buttons on the right side. We can also see the strap, which looks like it will have a butterfly clasp instead of the bell type hole and pin. Reports also suggest that the strap could be standard, meaning that it'll be easy to replace. From previous reports, we also know that it'll feature a 1.47 inch OLED display and the 425 milliamp hour battery, which is slightly bigger than previous ones. Whether it'll bring any additional improvements is still yet to be seen, but so far it's catching my attention. Moving on, let's switch to Apple since we have more details about the upcoming iPhone 15 series. And okay, let's just start with some context. Currently, if you're using a standard Xi certified wireless charger for your iPhone, if the specs hold true, it's limited to only 7.5 watts of charging, which was faster than the standard for a bit, but not anymore. However, according to a new report, the new model will support 15 watt wireless fast charging, even when using third party chargers that are not MagSafe certified, which is a uh, great news because that allows you to consider more affordable alternatives. Obviously, by not connecting a cable directly to the phone, you're also mitigating the risk of it being affected by any accessory that's not made by the phone manufacturer. Anyways, at this point, things still have to be taken with a grain of salt, but it's clear that the EU ruling has seen some quick implementation, or so do rumors point in that direction. And finally, for the most interesting news today, let's get back to Apple and what new features we could expect from iOS 17. Mark Ehrman just went on a complete spree of details of what to expect, and it gets pretty interesting. Let's start with some applications that will receive improvements. German reports mentioned that uh, the wallet application will have some significant changes, but didn't add specific details. Other functions like SharePlay and Find My will also be better on iOS 17. It is also reported that Cupertino plans to include a dedicated journaling application, pretty much like day one, though not much detail there either, other than German claiming that it'll introduce note-taking in a stronger social element. We don't have much information, but previous reports claim that the application will let users track their day activities and thoughts. Finally, Mark Gurman also stated that the company will add an updated lock screen interface to iOS 17 that will turn the iPhone into a smart home display. When not in use and positioned in a horizontal orientation, the iPhone will show information that includes calendar appointments, weather data, notifications, and more, allowing it to serve as a home data hub, sort of. 
yes, like the Pixels have done ever since the Pixel 10 was launched, though in that one it's vertically. It is said that Apple is developing horizontal interfaces for the iPad as well in this functionality, but uh, that might not be ready for iOS 17, and the company is also working on a low-cost tablet that will magnetically attach to walls and stands to serve as a dedicated home hub. But anyways, in today's question, let us know, I mean, what would you care about most to be updated with any of the iOS, iPadOS, or watchOS versions that are coming? Because listen, in my case, all I want, literally just all I want is a better file explorer for the iPad and also for applications like Google Drive to work on the browser and not the application, which is terribly cumbersome on iPads. Seriously, that's just me. I would not care about anything else but those two things. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me try to beat the cold with whatever I can find. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.